So the next event, to Destiny Festival of the Lust, comes next Tuesday, which is the 29th of October. Today I bring you all the latest news surrounding this event, recently dropped by Bungie, including some epic looking new rewards. How's it going guys? My name's DP Jenner, like to thank you for stopping by and checking out the video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you want to see more Destiny. Okay, so getting straight into their post and we'll read through everything Bungie state. In a universe where darkness appears around every corner and death usually follows, it's important to gain courage by looking fear in the face. Candy helps too. After taking a year off, Eva Levante has returned as the herald of the Festival of the Lost. This holiday is a time for guardians to don irrelevant masks and celebrate the memories of those that are lost. As a growing threat looms ever present, return to the tower, grab some candy and remind yourself what you're fighting for. Dark the halls. With Eva's return comes a renewed dedication to decorations. Candles, lights, cobwebs and pumpkins adorn every nook and cranny of the tower to ensure spirits will be raised. Speak with Eva to begin your journey and acquire a masquerade helmet to participate. Earn chocolate strange coins from bounties and activities to purchase Festival of the Lost mask ornaments for your new helmet. All Destiny 2 players can partake in the festivities, including new light players who will need to be 770 power to begin. Back by popular demand, Candy makes its sweet return as a reward to be spent towards mystery grab bags and the Braytech Werewolf Legendary Auto Rifle. After acquiring the fully masterworked 950 power weapon, create your own monster with random rolls. And it looks pretty cool people, I'm pretty sure as well, the mask you can see on screen now. Wow, they look incredible. Forest through the trees. While the festival is underway, guardians are needed to return once more to the haunted forest and defeat their fiends, ghouls and terrors that lie within. You will have 15 minutes to make it as far as you can, but beware of what awaits you at the end. Terrorverse There are more treats to be had in the Eververse if you'd like to further customise your Guardian's costume. From spooky, scary skeleton armour ornaments to jack-o'-lantern masks, we're sure you'll find something to terrorise your enemies. And you can see that armour on the screen now looking pretty sweet. To those witches and warlocks out there who are looking for some good clean fun, your favourite spooky sparrow has returned. And we can see that on the screen now, absolutely epic. The Festival of the Lost is a time to honour those who have passed on. Make sure to let your crucible enemies remember it forever with their own personal tombstone. Pretty cool emote as you can see on screen now. Join us in the tower and beyond and help us celebrate the Festival of the Lost beginning on October 29th and concluding on November 19th. Now here's a few more rewards from the Festival of the Lost and some of them look absolutely crazy that sparrow top right looks amazing the ship incredible the back gold shell i believe that is looks amazing the pumpkin gold shell looks incredible too now we do have more details on the festival of the last so let's check out to what they state so the haunted forest there will be two versions of this a darkened instance of the infinity forest on mercury descend into the depths with a fire team and see how far you can get before it disintegrates in order to launch into the haunted forest after it has been unlocked players must select the haunted forest node in the tower destination map before launching players must choose between two versions of the haunted forest Haunted Forest recommended power level 750. This standard version of the Haunted Forest features matchmaking and will pair players until a fire team of three has been assembled. Firewalled Haunted Forest minimum requirement of 750. In this version of the Haunted Forest matchmaking is disabled. Players may enter the Haunted Forest solo or with a pre-made fire team, but no additional team members will be match made into this activity. Additionally, players may launch directly into the matchmade haunted forest from the tower courtyard by interacting with the haunted forest mission totem next to Eva Levante. Once players have entered the haunted forest, they will have 15 minutes to clear branches, defeat terrors, and collect both candy and chocolate strange coins. Players may then return them to Eva Levante in the tower courtyard for Festival of the Lost rewards. Now once players do unlock the Haunted Forest, they can purchase bounties, masks and other Festival of the Lost rewards from Eva Levante. Masks and rewards may be purchased using candy and chocolate strange coins, which can be earned by defeating enemies and completing activities during Festival of the Lost while a mask is equipped. Please note, Festival of the Lost candy and chocolate strange coins do not dismantle individually. In the event that players choose to dismantle these items, their entire stacks will be deleted. 
Festival bounties. During Festival of the Lost, Evil Avante offers festival bounties that can reward players with XP, Glimmer and Chocolate Strange Queens. Masks. During Festival of the Lost, Evil Avante offers 5 masks that players may purchase for Chocolate Strange Coins. Furthermore, masks earned during Festival of the Lost 2018 can also be equipped by players who earn them. All masks must be equipped as ornaments on the Masquerader's helmet which is offered by Evil Avante for 100 Glimmer. And we can see some of the masks on screen now. Hidden Swarm Mask, the Goblin Mask, Mithrax Mask, Callus Mask and Drifter Mask. Pretty cool. Rewards. During Festival of the Lost, Evil Levante offers players special rewards to show off the spirit of the season. The Masquerader's Helmet, which is required to equip masks and Festival of the Lost mods, only contributes to players' power while Festival of the Lost is active. So on to Festival of the Lost mods. Once players have purchased the Masquerader's Helmet from Evil Levante, they can equip masks as ornaments and apply Festival of the Lost armor mods. Festival of the Lost armor mods can only be applied to the Masquerader's Helmet and they are only active while in the Haunted Forest. So we have Higher Purpose, Vampiric Touch and Energetic Assassin. And what these mods do are as follows, significant damage resistance while airborne, significantly increased damage to all enemies, increase their drop chance of heavy ammo on kill, significantly increased damage to challenging enemies, precision kills trigger health regeneration, increase the drop chance of heavy ammo on kill, precision kills grind grenade and melee energy, significantly increased damage to terrors, increase the drop chance of heavy on kill. So that's pretty cool. And there are also Festival of the Lost Triumphs. In addition to rewards and masks offered by Evil Avante, players may also complete exclusive Festival of the Lost Triumphs. These triumphs can be found in the Triumphs page under Seasonal Events. These triumphs are as follows. Days of the Dead, Complete Festival of the Lost 2019 Triumphs. Still Not Scared, Defeat Terrors in the Haunted Forest. A Frightening Power, Acquire the Exclusive Festival of the Lost 2019 Weapon. Master of Disguise, Acquire All Festival of the Lost 2019 Masks. Strange Times, Collect Chocolate Strange Coins during the Festival of the Lost 2019. Sweet Tooth, Collect Candy during Festival of the Lost 2019. Bountiful, Complete Festival of the Lost 2019 Bounties. Sweet Surprise, Purchase Festival of the last 2019 grab bags from Eva Levante. A brilliant smile, brush your teeth or your mastication module. And then there's one that's redacted, obviously a secret one. And that is basically it guys. So there's loads of things to do with this event that comes next Tuesday to 29th of October. But yeah, it looks pretty cool, not gonna lie. Some of the rules look absolutely epic. I'm looking forward to trying out the werewolf, the Bretic werewolf, even though it is a reskin. Who cares? But yeah guys, those are the details and all we know so far about the festival of the last 2009. If guys have enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Destiny 2 videos be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.